Hi guys, I'm back with another easy DIY project for you. Today is all about the best way to paint vinyl shutters. Now the shutters you see here are our new shutters, but my DIY steps will work on old shutters too. Even the ones that are listed as non-paintable or unpaintable. According to Sharon Williams, their product will work on those shutters. So let me show you how to get started. Whether you are painting new or old shutters, you're gonna wanna start by getting them clean. Even the new ones might have machine oils or grease from the factory that you don't wanna have on there if you want your paint to have a really good bond to the vinyl. So you have to start by or cleaning with a TSP. Now this product that I'm using here is a TSP alternative. Some people don't like it as much as the original TSP. The original TSP is listed as um, too dangerous, I think, to even sell in some states now. So just keep that in mind. Even with this TSP alternative, you do have to wear protective gloves and eyeglasses. Follow the directions on whichever product you use for safely cleaning your vinyl. If you are painting old shutters that are in good physical condition still, but they're just faded or you want to change the color, if they are really dirty and you need to give them a good scrub, you could start with Dawn dish soap mixed in with warm water. Give them a really good scrub, rinse them off, and then follow that up with the TSP. Again, the TSP is important because it is a degreaser that's gonna prep that vinyl. So you don't wanna skip and try to use something else. Make sure that the gloves that you're wearing are suitable for this product. So you wanna pick something like a nitrile glove or at least a super heavy duty glove like the one I'm wearing here. You don't want the thinner nitrile gloves because they tend to break while you're using them. So go for your heavy duty gloves, something that you might even use for cleaning your house, could be suitable, so check the label. And again, don't forget that eyewear. It is very important to protect your eyes. Once you finish using the TSP, you can wipe away the excess cleaner and let that dry before you start painting. Now let's talk about paint. I went to Sherwin-Williams. I went to their website. I talked to multiple people at Sherwin-Williams and they assured me that their product, Vinyl Safe is what they call it, so it's all one word, Vinyl Safe. It's an additive that can be added to four of their really popular exterior paints. They've assured me that this product will make their paints stick to vinyl shutters, vinyl siding, um, the exterior of vinyl windows, doors, anything like that outside. They've had a lot of testing done on this product. I think it's been around for years and years now. And it is regarded by a lot of painters as a, the paint that you wanna use if you're gonna be painting exterior vinyl. On their website, you can see on the page for Vinyl Safe Paint, they have 100 different colors listed as Vinyl Safe Paint Colors. Now, if you have a color that isn't in that list, they can probably still make it vinyl safe for you. I think as long as it doesn't have black pigment in it, maybe there's some other criteria. But um, this medium gray that I'm using is perfect for this application. It's not gonna be too dark. It's not gonna overheat. The vinyl safe product is gonna be great on these shutters. So I'm using vinyl safe mixed into their resilience paint. It's an exterior paint that's great at holding up against mold, mildew, in humid weather, dries fast. So I love this paint. It's worked out really good for us around our house. I am using an angled nylon brush to apply the paint to my vinyl shutter. So I like to use an angled brush whenever I am not painting a flat surface. But you could also use a paint sprayer. Again, while you're at the Sherwin-Williams store, if you're not sure about what mix to use for your paint sprayer or which paint sprayer, nozzle, whatever, check with the guys at Sherwin-Williams. They're really good at having all of the knowledge, all of the information on hand in their computer system and they'll let you know right away. You don't have to do any of the research yourself. So you do not need to use a primer with this paint. You just need to make sure that when you're painting the vinyl, again, make sure you're using that vinyl safe paint and that it's 100% acrylic paint. If they're new shutters, 100% acrylic paint is supposedly all you need. If you're painting old shutters, you need to have that vinyl safe paint additive in the paint. I think even if it's new shutters, why don't you just go ahead and get the vinyl safe additive added? That way you're extra sure that that paint is gonna stick. 
Also make sure with this paint or any paint that you follow the dry time recommendation. So you're gonna wanna let it dry for the paint I'm using. I needed to let it dry for four hours before applying a second or a third coat. So that just makes sure that the paint has time to dry and cure, which basically means to harden before you put the next coat on. If the paint doesn't proper, properly cure before you put another coat on, it could leave that paint gummy and it'll extend the overall dry time or cure time on that paint. So recently, um, I hired somebody to paint our house. They painted our door too. They painted the door, primer and two coats of paint within six hours. So from start to finish, six hours they had it done. So obviously they were not following the cure time on that paint. The next morning, our Texas sun hit that door and it was all bubbled up and disgusting. So make sure you follow that cure time. Okay guys, and here is another look at our finished vinyl shutters. They are looking beautiful. I also wanna point out to just make sure that you don't have any big tree limbs or plants that are really close to your shutters. If something like a limb is gonna scratch against your shutter during a, a strong thunderstorm, it could probably still scratch your paint just like it would on any surface. So don't think just because of the vinyl safe additive that it's gonna make it impervious to anything. It still has to be taken care of. Make sure you keep those tree limbs trimmed and away from that vinyl paint. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on the best way to paint vinyl shutters. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any tips about paints that you've used. Thanks guys.